Hello everyone, my name is Supriya Das Francis and I am a teacher by profession. So the concept of maths is not clear and most of the students they start withdrawing from maths. To make maths more interesting, what uh, I have thought is let me teach you through Vedic math. So today we are going to start learning addition through Vedic math. It's very simple and very easy method. If you start following my steps with me, then you will be able to uh, solve addition very easily. So let's start. To begin with, we'll see how we can solve any three digit or four digit addition. So first one, suppose we have 5000 684 and we are supposed to add it with 9736. Now, if you add it directly, we need to do the carryover. But most of the kids, they forget the carryover and they make lots of mistake here. So what we will be doing is the easiest way to do is see this draw lines because we have four digit will draw lines. What we'll be doing is we'll be adding <coughs> 6 plus 4. So when we add 6 plus 4, this becomes 10. When we add 8 and 3, this becomes 11. When we add 6 and 7, this becomes 13. And when we add 9 and 5, this becomes 14. So once this is done, what we'll be doing is we'll be writing the answer. This is not the final answer. This is individually what we have added. After this, we will be writing the final answer. So zero will write here as it is. One goes to one. So one plus one becomes two. This one moves to three. So one goes to three. Three plus one becomes four. And this one goes to 4, so 4 plus 1 becomes 5 and 1 we write as it is. I think you find it much more easy and this is a way we can do it in very fast uh, way. So let's see another example. Just pay little attention and you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it very very easily. Now if I have to ask you one number, uh, let me take... 5,924 and the other number I am taking is 3, 5, 7, 9. Now what is the method which we are doing? We are adding it. So what is the method we will use? Nothing. First step is draw 4 lines. You did this. Then what we are going to do? We will add 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. 7 plus 2 becomes 9. I'll write 9 as it is. 5 plus 4. 5 and 4, uh, 5, uh, sorry, 9 and 5 becomes 14. And 5 plus 3 becomes 8. Now it's time to write final answer. After adding all the numbers individually we are going to write final answer so what we'll be doing we'll write zero as it is one goes to nine nine and one becomes ten so i write zero here and one goes here so four and one five and one goes to eight eight and one nine so our final answer is nine five zero zero i hope you understood this concept now let me give you a few sums and I want you to solve this. Uh, I'm giving you five sums. While solving these five sums, what you need to keep in mind is that you should be solving these sums maximum within five minutes. If it's taking more than five minutes, then you must understand that you need more practice and if you have solved this within five minutes, then you can let, it, let me know in comment box. So the question goes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 9. Very close. This is first sum. Then you have second sum. Let me erase this. And second sum is... 8, 6, 7, 
फाइव फोर थ्री एट टू You should not. You must not take more than five minutes to solve these sums. If you are taking more than five minutes, then you need to practice more sums, or else you are just perfect with the ideas. So four, four, zero, nine, eight, seven, eight, six, and the fourth sum goes here. Five six three two eight four nine seven, and the last one, fifth one, is three three eight eight nine nine six five. So students, you must add up and. Uh, put your answers in uh, comment box once you put your answers in comment box don't forget to write your timing along with it and do let me know if you want more practice sums or if you need any kind of help thank you so much we'll meet again